Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks in this replay we have Legendary 2015 who likes to uh, yeah, scroll backwards and forwards in there. Tier 7 French Premium Light Tank, it's not the regular one, it is the 1357 which is different from the 75 right, which is the regular uh, Tier 7 Light Tank. So, Legendary even down by two tiers is going to show you exactly why you should never ever give up right. A lot of times I see people start the battle and go like, oh I'm bottom tier, I can't do too much, I'm going to just give up on this game, go into another one, um, but no, you shouldn't like, when you're the bottom tier, your job is to just support your top tiers, right? You need to do everything you can to support those high tier vehicles, so like, spot for the Ag Tiger, spot for the A phase 1 in this situation, spot for the tier raid vehicles, um, if you can of course. So, instead of just giving up, always give it 100%, always give it your best. And that is exactly what Legendary is going to be doing over here. Even with, I mean, a regular loadout, that is not something you see every day. With a, a special replay, right? Every time you see a replay that has, I don't know, 15 kills, 50,000 damage or whatever. You see bond equipment, you see, like premium consumables, only gold, in this case only gold is probably how most people will be playing the 1357. Um, because the regular rounds have only 143 millimeters of penetration with two, one, no, 195, that was 205. Um, it's actually 195 millimeters on the premium rounds, which is still not that impressive. Uh, so yeah, most people will be going with premium rounds over here. So. What makes the 1357 so special? Well, as you can see, just the amount of shells that it fires, right? It fires 8 shells in one magazine, and it does 90 damage per shell. That is 720 damage in one clip. That is just crazy, and considering the fact that it has one second intra-clip reload, you can do it so quickly. It's like pop, 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 and the enemy, the enemy team is just going to melt if you get into a good position. But there we go. Legendary going forwards now. Didn't spot from the center of the map, which is where you usually sit with your light tanks at the start, trying to spot all of the uh, tank destroyers sitting towards the east. Maybe some mediums are going over there. But nope, nobody was spotted. So, Legendary went forth, spotted the T29. Hopefully now the teammates can get some, some shots in. Some shots in, my goodness. Speech, speech has left the chat. And there we go, spotting the Schmidt TVP from the east as well. This is a lovely position to take. And now we have Nino in the 25 uh, the platoon mate of uh, Legendary doing some damage to the Shepard TVP and the T29 as well is taking quite a bit of damage, which is always nice. There we go. T29 down to very low HP, 142. Can someone finish off? There we go. Nino finishing off the T29 over here. Giving Legendary the entirety, pretty much, of the vehicle as spotting damage. TVP is spotted towards the southeast. You need to watch out. You don't want to get spotted and get hit by the Shepard TVP or the Kanone Jagdpanzer. Those are two very dangerous vehicles to get hit by. It, they will probably take off half of Legendary's HP trying to go after the beast. And you can just see the crazy rate of fire over here. Firing at the beast. Unfortunately, the Kanone Jagdpanzer actually hits Legendary, which is not good. As you can see, taking 444 damage. That is not what you want. That is not what you like. Leaving Legendary on only 446, and now it's a, uh, this is actually pretty risky. You were spotted over there already. You don't want to fight, don't want to get spotted and die. Oh my goodness, even though that was a pretty juicy. That is pretty juicy, seeing the TVP over there, trying to catch him in the side maybe. Is Legendary going to fire, firing once? It seems like some shot of blind fire, because Legendary did not get spotted, that's weird. But there we go, going from the other side. This way the tank destroyers can't spot you. Put one to the TV and just look at this. Pop. Pop. Just the crazy rate of fire that you can do. And, <laughs> okay. Just take off the head of the TVP VTU. And then you can do this to the BZ. One, two, three. Can we get a fourth one in as well? Yes, we can indeed. And this vehicle is just crazy. It's just crazy when you get into those situations where you can just unload your clip. Not from this side though. Maybe you should not fire from this side, though, Legendary. You got spotted earlier. Okay, Legendary, just going for it. Going for the kill on the beast at 58. One, two. Need only one more. There we go. Okay. I guess the Kanon Panzer decided to fall back. The Super Hellcat's not over there as well. They tried to find a different angle. Maybe to go after the IS into the southeast corner. 
But so far, 1,736 damage, 1,464 spotting, and a couple of kills as the bottom tier. So, I mean, this is already a good game for someone who stand by two tiers. But it's just getting started. I mean, the enemy team has, what, nine vehicles? They still have a, about nine vehicles remaining. Yes, indeed. And, uh, yeah, this is just going to get crazier and crazier from now on. But Legendary is just waiting for now. Trying to see if the Canonian Agnes is going to go forward with the Super Hellcat. We'll try to go forth as well. Actually, leaving the bush? That might be risky. That might be risky. Maybe trying to bait someone. Trying to bait a spot over here. It's not, it does not seem to be working. And we did hear something break above us. And there we go, the SMVCC 67. It's actually 50 meter ring. Legendary, you need to watch out over here. If someone enters this small ring on your minimap, that means you'll be automatically spotted, even though, as you can see, they're on different levels and there's hard cover between them. If someone is 50 meters away from you, then you will be automatically spotted. It doesn't matter if there's anything in the way or not. You will be automatically spotted. So you do need to watch out. Need to keep an eye on the minimap at all times, but okay, this is looking... Oh my goodness, pushing against the Kanon Yang Panzer, this is not good. Where is Legendary gonna go over here? The Kanon Yang Panzer actually pushes the platoon mate, Nino 99 and 25 don't die, Nino! Stay alive, get behind the Kanon and Yang Panzer! But there we go, getting behind the SV 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and this is just exactly what this vehicle does. Can we also finish off the Kanon Yang Panzer with the three remaining shells? Should I put one? Did it hit? We do not know. We're going to have to spot him and see. It actually did hit. And to finish off the Kanon and Yang Panzer get some revenge right on the vehicle that finished off Nino, the platoon mate. But now, it's still down by two vehicles, but up by a bit of HP, so that is nice. At least it's kind of, you know, balanced in that regard. Trying to go after the 703 to put it up, needs to fall back, don't die to the... Oh uh, my goodness, the artillery actually finishes off the tip and it brought up in 1, 2, and 3 into the 703 2. And this is just so much fun when you get behind vehicles or at the side of the enemy vehicles at close range and you can just auto aim, hold the mouse, and it just does the pop, 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 and you see the damage go up and up and up. It is just so, so much fun. Also, definitely recommend you use um, Dead Eye on this vehicle. That is just going to. You will set people on fire, you will take their heads off so often if you have dead eye on vehicles that have either very high amount of uh, shells in their clip or vehicles that just have a very good rate of fire so 1357 with dead eye getting the side of a vehicle is just going to do so much damage to their internal modules it's crazy it is ridiculous but legendary is just showing you exactly why right i guess legendary maybe has dead eye considering all of the crits that we saw in this battle so far my goodness, up to 2,400 damage and 1,743 spotting. But this game is far from over. Five vehicles remain on the enemy team. And only one Yang Tiger and one GW Panther on legendary side. Trying to spot maybe the tank destroyers that will try to advance towards the east. There we go. SMV Super Alcat and the Schubert TVP. That was actually a really good push by the enemy team. Sending every one of their vehicles forwards at the same time. This is exactly what, exactly what you need to do in this situation. You can't go one by one. You need to push all together. Don't let the enemy that is, you know, they have such a little amount of vehicles. Just outnumber them. Swarm them. But, I mean, legendary is not going to let it just happen. Going after the Shepard TVP that went after the Yang Tiger, which is the right decision. Actually, the Shepard TVP is a very, very dangerous vehicle. It has amazing um, heat penetration. It can easily go through the Yank Tiger's superstructure as well. So that was definitely the right choice. Finishing off the Shepard TVP first over here. It also has amazing HE runs that might be able to one-shot Legendary. So that was a really, really good decision. But now it's only a Yank Tiger and Legendary against four of the enemy vehicles. My goodness, one of the vehicles in the cap circle. Is it the SMV? Is it the Super Hellcat? Maybe it's the artillery trying to sneak forwards. Maybe maybe it's even the 257? You think the 257 went in aggressively and it is actually this SMV CC56. My goodness, the amount of shots and stuff that is happening, I can't really speak. My speech is not speeching. One, two, three, four, five, yes, into the track. And this is just where you want to be. This is just where you want to be with the AMX. So boom, eight rounds into the SMV, leaving them on 422 HP. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff by Legendary so far into this battle. Six kills, 3,400 
400 damage done, but there's still a lot to do. My goodness, the SMV is still trying to cap, still on 400 HP. Where is that SMV? There he is. And it's actually the Super Hellcat pushing forwards. Need to watch him. Don't want to get rammed by the Super Hellcat. He actually did get rammed. Luckily, the Super Hellcat did not fire HG. That was so close. Leaving Legendary on 49 hit points. Now need to avoid the artillery. Need to avoid everything. Even like a, a sneeze from the artillery next to Legendary's vehicle is going to be dangerous over here. This is crazy right now. If the Super Hellcat actually fired HG and penetrated Legendary's vehicle, this would have been over. This game would have been already done. My goodness, the Yank Tiger versus the 257. It seems like the Yank Tiger is struggling against that tier 9 Russian heavy tank. This is not good. The Yank Tiger is now a one shot, I believe, on 470 hit points. But I mean, there's still an SMV that is camping. 36 seconds remain. He's looking towards the east. But luckily, Legendary is going around. Still have time. So 30 seconds is enough time to go around. And the Yank Tiger finished off the Object 257. So. Whew. Stay calm, stay connected, don't miss the shots against the SMV, just reset the cap. There we go. SMV is looking towards the Yang Tiger. One, two, three, and the fire finishes off. The SMV CC56. Absolutely amazing stuff by Legendary over here. Crazy, crazy amounts of damage. And I mean, I did dodge the other. <laughs> no, that could have been a disaster. That could have been a disaster. That is seven of Ring 14550 is a dangerous artillery. But we did see the shell coming from around the eastern area of the map, right? Is the Lorraine actually trying to go south? Is Legendary going to catch them? going to see that in a second. Whew. So yeah, Legendary down by two tiers and still doing so much damage, spotting kills at, at eight kills. Two tiers down with a light tank. It's just insane. It is just insane. And I mean, this is exactly how you want to play your 1357, right? Just be an assassin, get behind or get to the side of the enemy vehicles and just pop, pop, pop them out of existence. That is basically what you need to do with this vehicle. But this game is not over. The Yang Tiger is a one shot, Legendary is a one shot, and the 15550 is a very, very dangerous vehicle. We do not want to get hit by that vehicle right now. So I guess it's not towards the east. Um, where is that 15550? Where is that artillery? Um, also, it's something to note, right? Only nine shells remaining, so you can't miss too many shots over here. Can't miss too many shells against the 15550. Need to make sure that your shells count. Where is the 15550? Okay, update for World of Tanks was found. Cool. <clears throat> Where is uh, that cheeky and sneaky artillery? Is it towards the northeastern corner? It is towards the northeastern corner. There we go. One, two, Three, don't let him turn around. No, don't do this. Don't go for the fade-ins. Don't go for the fade-ins. Okay, <laughs> what? What? I have no idea uh, what Legendary was doing over here. But, I mean, they did finish off the artillery, getting the ninth kill of the battle. 4,704 damage. And 1,743 spotting. Um, I think maybe Legendary thought that... Okay, what is, what is going on here with the updates? <clears throat> I think a legendary actually had, like, they thought they had one less shell, so they're trying to go for the Faden Men Faden's Medal, but they actually had nine shells left, and you have only eight in your clip, and then it was like, do I try to shoot and reload and then go for it again? Nah, just gonna go for the kill. Go for the ninth kill. 4,700 damage, crazy stuff over here. And yeah, this just shows you, like, I've seen so many people complaining that when they're bottom tier they can't do anything it doesn't matter what they do it doesn't work you can do things you can support your top tier vehicles you can get into good positions to just be annoying um, against the enemy top tier vehicles it's not like you're useless it's not like you're completely useless to anything right you can still do damage you can still get kills even as a bottom tier light tank you can get nine kills 4700 damage so, yeah, legendary with an amazing game, with a legendary game, right, with a 1357, amazing stuff. I just love that, they just went all in, don't care about the matchup, don't care about the teams, just going, giving 100%, winning a battle that otherwise would have probably been a, a loss, you know? Whew. So, how legendary was this battle? We're gonna go and have to take a quick look at the post-game stats to see that.
There we go. Easy Ace Tanker for the 2,226 base experience sent over here. Um, a bunch of those ribbons. I mean, arsonist and demolition expert in the same battle is always fun to see. Uh, Randy Walters for destroying 8 or 9, in this case, 9 vehicles. The Olyx Metal for destroying 2 or more enemy vehicles with a light tank that are at least 1 tier higher. So, yes. In this case, how many of those? 1. Um, okay, good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the 9 vehicles were of a higher tier. Um, then Legendary 2015, absolutely amazing stuff over here. Defender for getting 100 defense points against the SMV and uh, anyone else who was in the camp that I might have missed. Um, high Caliber for the 4,802 damage done with, you know, the blind shot against the Kanoniag Panzer. Gave us a bit extra over here. A tank sniper, which is actually really surprising um, for the Amex 1357. Definitely not known for long range sniping. A mana top gun for six kills in this case, a nine, so it's kind of like a, a top gun on the half, right? Seven vehicles spotted. It's just amazing stuff, as you can see. The amount of critical hits that you can do with this vehicle. If you have Dead Eye, it's just going to be a crazy vehicle for crits, so. Definitely try to go for that skill on your gunner. Um, as we saw earlier, first on XP over here, first on damage, first on kills, obviously. And if we go to the detail report, you find 55 shots out of those 51 hit and 48 penetrated. This is this is just insane stuff, right? You don't actually expect to hit so much, especially not from long range, like Legendary did. And even when you do hit, the the chances of you penetrating with this vehicle because of the very low penetration rounds, it's just insane. The, the ratio over here is crazy. Absolutely crazy stuff by um, Legendary 2015. Like we saw earlier, 4,802 damage, and 1,920 from a distance of more than 300 meters. So, like I said, very surprising. Very nice indeed. Two hits received, two penetrated. Obviously, you don't go pushing forwards with the light tank expecting to block everything, right? Um, in this case, it was the Kanoni Panzer and the Super Hellcat, which luckily did not fire HE, that was able to penetrate. Legendary's AMX, 7 vehicles spotted, 9 vehicles damaged, and 9 destroyed. So, like, every vehicle that Legendary fired at was actually destroyed by Legendary. And it's not like it was kill-stealing, right? Um, 7032 took a bit of damage, but the SMV... Full health, the artillery, full health, BZ, 10 shots over there, Super Hellcat, 5, 5, it's, it's just insane stuff by Legendary, 1,743 damage caused due to players' assistance, most of it on 3029 at the start, as you can see over here, and the Spat TVP, and the SMV, a lot of spotting against those people towards the east and the SMV, 100 defense points, you know, we saw it earlier, resetting the cap twice, is all you need to win at the battle, traveling 6.4 kilometers. Like, how many battles have you seen where a vehicle actually traveled over 6 kilometers in one battle? Just crazy stuff. Uh, but yeah, is this vehicle worth it for, like, credits? Not really. It's not a credit vehicle, even with a premium account, losing 34 thousand credits over here because of the amount of ammunition fired uh yeah if you fire gold exclusively in a fast firing high amount of shell kind of autoloader it it becomes quite expensive 154,000 credits to resupply the ammunition over here but i mean i'd much rather lose 34,000 credits and get this result than get 34,000 credits and do a quarter of what Legendary just did. Um, 7,847 total experience earned 334. Free experience in total, so GG. Well played, Legendary 2015. Legendary indeed, absolutely amazing game. 9 kills as the bottom tier vehicle. 4,800 damage, bottom tier light tank. Absolutely insane stuff with the MX 1357. GG. Well played. Um, but yeah, this is it for this video, so let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the 1357? Do you think it's maybe too good at the moment? Do you think it's okay as it is? A really fun T7 vehicle? Maybe you think it's actually not good enough, think it deserves a buff? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as usual, 
thank you so much everyone for watching you're awesome stay awesome stay safe and hopefully i will see you all in the next video tatals people have a good one